Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chinder. In this video, I am going to discuss about one more point related to functional interface in Java from 1.8 that is our functional interfaces participated in inheritance or not. Our concept is our functional interfaces participated in inheritance or not. So, whenever we facing this type of question in the interview room, we should say yes, functional interfaces should participated in definitely they are eligible for participated in inheritance, but those should be following someone rule. What is that rule? Whether the functional interface participated in inheritance or not, whatever it may be that interface should contains how many methods exactly one abstract method. It may containing object class uh, related method as a abstract leave it about that point already we discussed that those things in my previous videos. If you if functional interface wants to participate in the inheritance no problem it can, but we need to focus on its related number of methods. For example, observe here there is one functional interface, there is one functional interface. Here I am taking one interface like i, here I am taking one interface like i, here I am taking one method public abstract void m1, a interface which contains exactly one abstract method we can call as functional interface. Now, what I asked is functional interface participated in the inheritance or not that is our question. Let us check functional interface, interface j extends of what year i, extends of what year i. Now, do you have any problem? No. Are you facing any compile time error? No. Are you facing any runtime problems? No, executing successfully. Now, let me run this application. Yes, we got output. What is the meaning of that? Successfully compile and execute. That means, functional interface should, functional interface can participate in the concept like what here? Inheritance. See, let me give implementation for this one. J O B J equal to I want to give this implementation through anonymous inner class. So, new j, new j means so do not we think this is a creation of creation object for interface j, we are creating an object for j implementation class. So, this entire part behave like a implementation class for j. Now, it go it is showing one error, if you move the cursor on top of the error observe here the type new j must implement the inherited abstract method. What is the meaning of that? If any class which implements the interface that class should provide the body for what here? Methods of interface j. Do we have methods in the interface j? Maybe syntactically not available through inheriting concept whatever the method which we have in the i that method will coming to what here? j. So, what I am doing here, I am overriding, I am overriding the method of j, direct part of i, indirect part of j, what is that method? Public void m1 method. System dot out dot println, here m1 method of anonymous, of anonymous. Now, I am writing here obj dot m1 method. Now, what happened? Carefully observe, I need to write these things within the double quotes. Let me execute. Yes, successfully we got what here? M1 anonymous. So, functional interface can participate in what here? Inheritance. But carefully observe, there is a method like abstract wide M2 method abstract void m2 method. Now, we got error. Let move the cursor. 
invalid functional interface annotation j is not a functional interface why j is not a functional interface we have only one method na maybe we feel like syntactically it is one method but it contains what here two methods one is m2 one method of j and m1 inherent method from i so internally interface contains what here j interface two methods one is m1 another one is m2 if you are if you are comment this uh, annotation no problem a single interface may contains more than one abstract method but functional interface can contains exactly only one abstract method simply we can say here what's our question are functional interfaces participated in the inheritance or not yes participated but we should maintaining only one abstract method we should maintaining only one abstract method sir if you are not writing anything here no error functional interface means which exactly contains only one method na, but i didn't declare na. so we are not directly declared the method but indirectly that m1 method is a part of what again j that means j is having how many abstract methods one so the final conclusion here is functional interfaces participated in the inheritance but they maintaining always only one abstract method okay if any interface which contains uh, more than one abstract method through with or without inheritance that will not treated as what your functional interface i hope you understand this uh, uh, inheritance concept on top of the functional interface for more videos please subscribe to our sit channel thank you